So last week we took a look at this, the Ferrari SF90 Stradale. However, if we'll dial back the uh, years quite a fair bit, we'll go and take a look at yet another old classic Ferrari. And it is this one, the Ferrari 512 Testarossa, which is what that little TR stands for, from 1992. It has 421 horsepower, 360 foot-pounds of torque, it weighs a whopping 3,700 pounds or thereabouts, and it has a 4.94 litre engine. So we'll go ahead and take a listen to that engine right now. But before we do that, let's just take a quick look at this thing. It does look a lot like the car from OutRun, however this one is not the uh, Swider, it's just the regular old Testarossa. However, if you take a look at this thing, we'll see it has the most desirable trait in the car. It has pop-up headlights, which is honestly fantastic. So if we go take a look at the inside, it looks just like your usual old Ferraris, which is honestly not too bad. And now we'll go and take a look, or a listen rather, to that wonderful 4.94 litre engine. And there it is, didn't that sound nice? So, we've got this thing starting out at A733, so I think we're going to try and take this thing up to A class and go and do our little race with it. But first, what do we have for conversion? We have three extra engine swaps. We have the 4 litre flat 6, we've got a racing V12, and we have a 6 litre V12. Which, honestly, it does sound kind of cool. If anybody knows what car that engine's out of, do go ahead and let me know in the comments. However, for now we have the option to twin turbo our Ferrari, which means that we are going to do that. And then we're probably going to go and see if we can pass some slightly better tyres. Can we go up to? We can go right up to semi slick. Okay then. And we'll just make them a little wider, and I think we'll go and see what arrow we have. Oh. And for the back, I'll let it be something good. Never mind. And some brakes. That should be enough, right? So if you take a look at the paint colours for these, we've got this one, we have this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So not many to choose from, but they all do look very, very nice, and I think we're going to go with this one. And if you want one of these for yourself, you can get it for 20 points of dry season in Series 7, and if you want to have a look at the MG3, I've also done a video on that too. Okay, so away we go, we are running at the top of A class against some other interesting classic vehicles, and we've got to go and see how this little thing, well it's not exactly little, is going to do against all of them. We finally get this corner right, kind of? Certainly handled it a lot better than we have in the past. So let's go ahead and see who else we can try and pass. Can we get past, what are you, another Ferrari? You are, so we'll just go ahead and get past you. And we'll go ahead and get past you as well. And if you can, we'll get past the Lamborghini as well. Perfect. Let's see, can we break in time for the corner? Yes we can, because we did upgrade to sport brakes. And we'll go and see if we can keep this win to the end of the race. Alright, so coming up to 95% of the race, we have got just that little turn to go. We did fluff that run up a bit, but no worries, because we still had enough space to cross the line in. A hey, wonderful first with the time of 2 minutes and 9 seconds, which honestly isn't too bad. So it did pretty well in the racing, let's go and see how it would do with another kind. Drag racing. Which means that we're going to go ahead and probably use that 6 point, well, just 6 litre V12. And of course, we are going to go and twin turbo it. And something that might annoy all the Ferrari fans. We're going to have to all wheel drive stop this thing, please don't be too mad. Much car sacrilege later. Okay, so here we are now with the Ferrari 512. Let's go and see if we can drag race this thing. So let's see, in 3, 2, we don't need lights, let's go. Wonderful, off into second, third. Let's see how quickly can we get into fourth, there we go. Try and keep it inside the lines even though this thing really doesn't want to. Up into fifth and 201 through the cameras. Horizon Arcade will begin shortly. Good luck. That's good, I did not ask. So let's go back and put some road tires back onto this thing. We'll probably go and alter the suspension a little bit as well and then we'll go and find out this thing's top speed. So here we are now at the edge of the motorway, so let's go ahead and floor it in this thing and go and see what we can get for our top speed. Hopefully it will be something pretty quick. So this thing is already quick with a whopping 264 miles an hour going out of the speed zone. And now we go to everybody's favourite, the downhill part. So we'll go and see what top speed we can do there. So that is 270 through the camera and now to the downhill. 272, 273, can we get 274? Oh, not quite. We did get 273 and um, a spectacular crash. But aside from all that, let's go ahead and see how this thing can do with drifting. 
Okay, so here we are now with the car all sorted for drifting. So we'll go ahead and chuck it sideways into our drift zone and try not to. Never mind. So for our next attempt at uh, hopefully trying to get this thing to drift, I've gone and altered the tire pressures a little bit in the hopes we don't spin again. Are you kidding me? One agonizing amount of tuning later. Okay, so trying this for a third time. Hopefully, third time's the charm. Let's go and throw this into here. I've gone and retuned this thing entirely just in the hope we actually get a run without spinning. So let's see, we do actually get a good run and it is 38,000 points, so that is not too bad. Lining this thing up for yet another attempt going back the other way, this will be our second attempt going this way. Can we beat 38,000? I don't think so, considering we just struck a wall. But at least we've done better than we have the previous three rounds of just constantly spinning out. That is 38,000 again, so once you get this thing dialed in, it's not too bad, it's just trying to get it dialed in that is the issue. So what do I think of this thing? Well, it's it's a Ferrari. I don't really know much about my Ferrari, so I can't say too much about it, but it's not too bad and it does eventually start drifting pretty well. Who knows? We could see one of these in Formula Drift soon. Actually, maybe not. That might be a stupid idea. A bit like whoever placed that rock there. But should you pick up one of these yourself? Well, I can't really tell you whether you should or you shouldn't, but that is down to you to decide. Personally, it's there, it's a car, it's not exactly worth doing much about because it is another Ferrari, unless you like Ferraris, in which case go and get one of these for yourself. Anyway, that is enough waffle for me, so I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. It just take me way too many attempts to actually even record this outro, but uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Leave a like if you have, feel free to go ahead and share the video, it helps out the video and the channel quite a lot, and also if you're new, feel free to go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. I love freedom, I try to apply to as many as I possibly can. And with that said, thank you very much for watching, I'll go ahead and see you all in the next one. Tech, out. That outro took way too many attempts.